Oh wow, is that an Android handheld? Yeah, which front end are you using? What's a front end? What? You don't have an emulation front end set up to browse and manage and launch your retro games? No, it seemed like it would be hard. Nope, it's not hard at all. Oh, really? Yep. Can you show me how to do it in two minutes? Yep. Uh, before we get started, let's go over what you need. You'll need a copy of the ESDE front-end installer. It's not free, it's $5, and you can get access by subscribing to the creator on Patreon. And then you'll need some storage. If you're using the internal storage on your device, you don't need anything, but if you're using an SD card, you'll want to get that ready and set up in your device. And you'll need a handheld, obviously. Like this beautiful, transparent blue Amberlick RG556. Go Game Geek sent this to me to show you guys, and you can check out my review video if you want to know more. And if you want to pick one up, there's a link in the description below. And without further dilly-dallying, let's move on to the two-minute tutorial. And go! The first step is to install your emulators. You'll want to download RetroArch, you can get Dolphin for GameCube, Aether SX2 for PS2, and I'll have links for all of these in the thingy below. And then you should launch each of your emulators to make sure that they're all set up and ready to go. Make sure all the controls are bound and stuff. Download all your cores, set up your hotkeys, or whatever else you want to do. And now we're ready to install ESDE. Using the file browser on your device, you'll want to navigate to your downloads folder and open your ESDE installer APK. And then you can launch the app and go through the setup. Follow the prompts to grant permission and then select your data directory. Either use the one it made for you on your internal storage or make your own on your external storage. And then click use this folder. And then you have to choose your ROMs directory. And again, either use the internal one or create your own called ROMs on your SD card. When it asks you to create the system directories, select create them. And then it'll say no game files were found. And then you can quit because it's time to add some games. So we're going to take out that SD card and then shove that into your computer. And in the ROMs folder, you'll see a big list of all the systems that are supported by ESDE. And this is where you'll add your ROMs for each system. I also like to make a folder called BIOS on the root level of the SD card and copy my BIOS folders into there. Most systems will not need a BIOS, but some might. So if you need to point an emulator to the right BIOS, at least you hand have them all handy. And when that's done, you can shove that back into your device. Now when you launch ESDE, it should show some systems. Not so fast though. You'll want to turn off the overlay on the screen by pressing start down to the input device settings and turn off the touch overlay. Now we're ready to test this thing out. So go into one of your systems and launch a game. If you've done it right, your game should start up in the emulator you set up and you're good to go. Have fun playing your game. Aw, oh, damn it. Why do I even bother? These things, they're rigged, I tell ya. And I got a bonus tip for ya. If your games aren't opening in the emulator that you want, you can change that by opening the main menu, go down to other settings, alternate emulators, and then select whichever emulator that you want. And another bonus tip, now that you have your games added, you'll probably want to scrape artwork for your games. So go to the main menu, go to scraper, go to content settings, choose what you want to scrape, and then go to scrape these systems, choose which systems that you want to scrape, add your screen scraper account if you have one, and then go down to the start button, and it will scrape the box art and the screenshots or whatever you choose. And a final bonus tip, did you know you could download themes? Just open the main menu, go to UI settings, theme downloader, pick whichever theme looks good to your eyeballs, download it, and then go back and select it from the theme menu. If you want to grab yourself an RG556, you can get this from Go Game Geek. There's a link in the description below. That's it from me. I'm TechDweeb. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.